Welcome to Linux tutorial. In this video, we are going to see how to create your own social media website by using HumHub on Ubuntu. HumHub is a free and open source tool which can allow you to create and customize your own social media website like Facebook. So by using this tool, we can able to build our own social network like Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and etc. HumHub is very easy to install and easy to customize and it will provide a nice graphical user interface for the users. So the users would like to use this social media network. So now let's see how to install this HumHub on your machine. Before installing, you need to set up the LAMP server for HumHub because HumHub will request for a web server and then a database server and then PHP. So before installing HumUp, we need to set up a LAMP server. So you can run the following command to install the packages for LAMP server. Now type this command to install the packages for LAMP server. Now hit enter. Now press Y and hit enter. Now the packages is installing. Wait for some time. Now here you can see, these are the packages is marked for the installation for the LAMP server. Now wait until the installation process is complete. While installing the packages, it will ask you to set the root password for MySQL. So here you can type the root password for your MySQL database. And then choose OK. Now type it again and choose OK. and then wait for some time here you can see now the packages are installed for LAMP server next you need to install some PHP extensions now you can type this command to install this PHP extensions now hit enter now the package are installing wait for some time after installing PHP extension you need to restart the Apache service so type System CTL space restart space Apache 2. Now hit enter. Now enable the service. Now hit enter. Next, we need to create database and database user for HumHub. So log into the MySQL database. Now type this command to log in. Now here enter your root password. After login, you can create the database by running the command create space database space humhub semicolon. Now type like this and hit enter. Next thing is we need to create database user. If you don't know the command for creating database user, you can type help space grant and then semicolon now hit enter here you can see this is a command to create database user now copy this and paste it here here change the username and then here you can change the password now hit enter next we need to grant the permission for the user to the database so you can copy this command and paste it here here this is db name now change it to your db name and this is db username here in my case the db name and db username is also same now hit enter now type flush privileges Now hit enter. Now you can exit from the database. Next we need to download the package for HumHub. For that you can run the following command. Now type this command to download the package. Now hit enter. Now the package is downloading. Wait for some time. Now here you can see 
now the package is downloaded after downloading we need to move this package to the document root of apache so type me space package name space slash where slash www slash html now hit enter now move to the document root td space slash where slash www slash html now we need to extract this package so run the command tar space hyphen zx vf space hum hub now type like this and then hit enter now the package is extracted after extracting you can see a new directory now let's rename the directory now rename it now the name is changed we can remove the star file now type the command chmore space hyphen capital r space triple seven space hum hub now here we are setting the full permission for the directory hum hub now type like this and then hit enter now hum hub is ready to install just you need to open your browser and then you need to call your ip address with this directory name now open the browser now here type the ip address of your hum hub server which means in this machine we have installed hum hub so we need to enter the ip address of this machine and then slash the directory name for hum hub now type like this here you can change to your ip address and then the directory name now hit enter now here you can see the welcome page for hum hub here you can choose your language and then click next now here you can see we are getting some errors this is nothing we are missing some php extensions so we need to install it now open your terminal and then run the following command now we can type this command to install those php extensions now hit enter now the packages are installing wait for some time after installing the packages once again restart your apache service so type systemctl space restart space apache2 now hit enter now we can open the browser and then click check again now you can see now the errors are cleared now you can click next now here you need to enter the database details now type the host name here if you don't have a host name you can type localhost this is the db username and password for the db user and then name of the database now click next now here you can type the site name now click next now here you can configure your site now choose anything and then click next here you can configure the security settings if you want to allow these options just you can check the boxes and then click next now these are the modules is going to install now click next now the modules are downloading and installing wait for some time now the next thing is we need to create the admin account here you can type the username and email and then password for the admin user and then first name and last name 
now type it now click create admin account now here if you want to enable the assemble content you can check this box and then click next now here you can see now home hub is installed on your server now you can click sign in now here you can see the dashboard for home hub to log in you can click here and then type the username and password now type the username and then password and then click sign in now here you can see now we have logged in this is the admin user here you can see the dashboard these are the some example content here you can see your messages and this is directory these are the two example users this is the admin user here you can see we have total number of three users and the number of users is online here you can see your welcome space this is default one if you want to create new one you can click here now let's choose default one now here you can see the welcome space if you want to view your profile you can click here here is the profile if you want to change your profile picture you can click here and then choose the picture and then you can click open if you want to change your account settings you can click here and then here you can change settings for your account now let's choose the administration here you can able to create some users for home hub currently there are three users this is admin user and these two are sample user now let's create a new user now click here here you can type the username and then password now type it now fill this information and then click general tab here type the first name and last name now click create account now click save now the user has created after adding the user you can choose the directory now here you can able to send the friend request for the user ubuntu now click add friend now the friend request has been sent for the user now let's try to log in with the credentials of this user from my client side now i will move to my client side now here you can see the firefox browser from my windows client here we can able to access the server by using the ip address for the server and then the directory name now click sign in now type the username and then password now click sign in now you can see now we have logged in with the credentials of the user ubuntu linux here you can see notification we have a friend request from the user linux help now open this now click accept friend request now let's send message for the user now click send message and here you can type your message now click send you need to type the subject now type subject and then message and then click send now the message is sent for the user now let's move to the server side now here you can see we have one new message and one notification now ubuntu linux is accepted my friend request now here you can see a message now open this 
now here you can see the message is sent from ubuntu linux user here you can able to reply for the message now type your message and then click send now the message is sent to ubuntu linux user so this is how you can able to create your own social media website by using humhub hope this video is helpful for you thank you for watching